Hey, welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we are going to be doing a reproduction of a Vincent van Gogh painting. And the title of the painting is Wheat Field with Cypresses. It was painted in 1889 and they actually found pieces of wheat in the paint. So they know that he painted this outside. I'm going to walk you through drawing the outline step by step and then we will fill it in with oil pastels. These are the supplies that you need. You need some oil pastels and I'm using this Cray Pass Expressionist set with 16 oil pastels. This is made by Sakura. You need a pencil and I'm using a Sumo Grip mechanical pencil. This is made by Sakura. And you need some paper towel. And the paper towel is just for cleaning off your oil pastels and keeping everything workable. So let's get started. The painting is not quite as long as our paper. You can use a ruler or just your pencil and we're just going to make the size of it a little bit more like what the painting actually was. So about an inch in, go ahead and draw a line down on the sides. If you have a paper cutter, you could also just cut your paper. And then I'm just going to draw a little line on the top just to keep this clear, and then a little line on the bottom to keep that clear as well. So what we want to do first is we're going to divide our paper almost in fourths. We're going to draw just along the bottom, not halfway up, but along the bottom. And then we're going to start a little bit up and draw a line down into it. Start a little bit higher than halfway up the paper and draw a line all the way down to this corner. The cypress trees are like a tall, long, skinny triangle. We have one that is in this area right here, starting just about halfway up, and it's going all the way up, almost to the very top of the paper and down. And then next to it, we have one that's coming just a little bit lower and has just a few little pieces that are coming off of it. And then we're gonna take a little step down right here and draw another diagonal line across the bottom. And then right here, we're just gonna draw a circle, some trees in the foreground right here. And then there is another circle right here and there is a circle right in front of it and a little bump in the hill right here. And then this is all green and it's gonna actually come up a little bit into this shape and then over. And there's actually going to be a little green stripe in here before it gets to the mountains. Now this shape right here is actually mountains, this diagonal line. So let's, so we're just creating some hills and some mountains back here and up in here. And then down here, there's just going to be some hills. Right in the middle of the shape, you're just gonna draw a line over, make it a little thicker, then a line up and over. And then over here, you're just gonna draw another line over. And then this is going to be the branches of this tree. And then there's also some branches that are coming behind it. All right, let's block in our colors. So grab your yellow and see my yellow is pretty dirty. So I'm just gonna clean it off. This is where your paper towel comes in handy. Fill this whole shape, even up into this tree, maybe even a little bit behind it with yellow. And then grab your yellow ochre, and over the top of the yellow, we're going to just create this texture, almost like grass coming up. And it's gonna be coming up all along the bottom of this. And then in the opposite direction, in shorter strokes, back towards the tree. We're just going back towards the tree with our yellow. And then we're gonna take this yellow ochre and just fill in this area. Take your yellow ochre and fill in this background shape and some of these hills in here, and just a little bit right there. You can take your yellow and come back over the top if you wanna really mix these together. Then you can also take your white over the top. And I'm gonna grab my yellow and come over this yellow ochre that I put in the background. Before we put this green in, we're just going to put a little bit of black. Then grab your green and just come right over the top. And I just had to add a little black just to make this just a little bit darker. These trees can lightly put the green over the top of them. Then we're just gonna grab our white. So with our white, we're just gonna add a little bit of texture in here. Now let's fill in some of these blue areas behind this. So I'm just putting my blue on first and then grab your white. Make sure there's not green on it. We're just making short lines and we want it to be a little bit more blue. I'm just gonna come over the top of that with my blue. Let's add our white back here. And then this needs to be green. I'm just gonna add some green in these trees as well. Just some of these scattered hatching lines. Put these trees in. Let's just block it in really quick. So I'm just putting very lightly my black under this. And then I'm going to grab my green and come over the top. Now let's fill in our sky. Use your pale blue and we're just gonna make some of this movement that's going on in the sky. And this below here is going to be white, but I'm going to just outline it a little bit. So just creating these puffy clouds. And then under here, we just have some white clouds that are coming along the bottom of the landscape. So I'm gonna take my light blue and fill in lightly these areas above these clouds. And I'm gonna fill in a little bit up here. I'm filling this one in with total white and I'll just come over it with my blue. Then grab just your normal blue and you can put some of those darker areas in the sky. Then I'm gonna take my white and I'm gonna start mixing the areas up here. So look at the painting and look at the direction that these clouds are moving in and that will help you know the direction that you're supposed to be drawing in with your oil pastels. And it might also help you to know, you know where to put some darker colors in
We've got some white down here. So you'll notice I'm just kind of going in this curved direction with my oil pastels once I get to these bottom clouds. Since yellow is my background color, I just want to make sure I'm getting a lot of it covered up in my sky. And I'm just stopping once I get to this tree. So remember, look at the painting in the sky and you can kind of give it that movement that you see in the painting that Van Gogh did. And you can add some lines back in. That's the nice thing with Van Gogh paintings is a lot of the times, you know, he is using these outlines to kind of bring some of these forms back together and I think that I need a little bit more white moving down from the sky let's go ahead and take our blue and let's separate these mountains from these clouds this is actually pretty dark so I'm gonna grab a little black and come just into the shape a little bit and put the blue back over the top and just make these a little bit more of a darker blue let's take our light blue and just fill in some of these areas that are closer around the tree around these bushes then take your black and we're going to put a little bit more black in here and then a little bit more of the green so we're going to start with our trees and move down this way so these cypress trees have a lot of texture going on and i'm going to use the word hatching which is just these short little not brush strokes but i guess these little lines and this is where we can kind of make these trees look like they're a little bit more twisted, give them a little bit more character. Now let's move to some of these bushes and these other areas and put some lines in. Now there are some bushes back in here, so let's grab our green. I'm gonna block in some shapes right here. Grab my black and just kind of re-outline them. In here, you can grab either a lighter green and also put it, some of it on this cypress tree, add some of it to the right side of some of these shapes. And you can also grab a yellow and put some yellow into these shapes. And then we'll bring that green down over into this area and just add a little bit of texture and we can bring some white actually into some of these areas as well so this tree has another tree behind it so i'm just going to draw some of these branches back here some of them are curving over some of them are coming up and then these trees have some dark outlines around them and definitely have some darker areas inside them now after we get these little they look like spikes right now and now let's make them look like tree branches and then inside of the tree they're curving everywhere and we want to grab our black and just add a few of those darker areas inside and I'm just kind of re-outlining some of these outside areas and adding these trunks back in so you can grab your yellow and bring some of these colors back in there is a little bit of yellow actually in this tree behind so you can add some of your yellow ochre to it now as we come down into the field we already have a lot of texture on it but we need to add just a few more light areas and some brown areas and then we're just going to add some texture with these short hatch lines in this field after we add those areas we can add some greens into the bottom and i'm going to grab my light green and this green is called yellow green i'm going to bring it up into the bottom of these bushes but also into this field there are some blue flowers in here we can indicate just with some dots and it looks like there's a few little tiny like orangey red ones I'm just gonna put right in here and some up in here then you can grab your blue come down along some of these areas and we'll add some hatching in here and even with our black we'll just come in here and add a few little details so look at the painting you could add some other areas in there if you would like you could add even some greens inside of this part a little shadow in here and you can go back over either with your yellow or with your yellow ochre and that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial have a wonderful day we will see you around on YouTube